Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. Have you ever wanted to be in 10 different locations when you have a great sunset in a city like Paris? Well, my name is Serge Germany. I'm a French photographer living in the US, but I do books about cities. I've published seven coffee table books and my work is in 120 galleries around the world. And I love teaching photography. I try to make two to three videos per week now. And it's absolutely my passion. Now, I challenge myself to use the latest Samsung S23, which is one of the greatest camera on the phone, to shoot Paris on the same night, on the same sunset, in 10 different locations using an electric scooter. So follow in Paris, you will see the last photo is absolutely crazy because I'm trying to do a 600 millimeter shot with a phone. This video is not being sponsored by Samsung at all. It's just me playing around. Come with me in Paris and I'm gonna show you on the map the 10 best locations you can do in one evening. So the sun is setting down right now, but there's too much foreground here. So let's go further. We are on the art bridge. Let's go to the next bridge and see what happens. Okay, cool, I got the shot, let's go to the next bridge. So we are riding, I don't know what the name of this bridge is, I'll find it on Google Map, but this is the bridge right in front of the Louvre. Now we are gonna to go to the next bridge. It's so much easier to shoot with a phone, you know, but I find it so funny to basically shoot with a 40 years old camera and something that's like a few weeks old. Different media, but same art, photography, trying to capture the beautiful light. Let's go, we have the blue hour coming up, it's gonna be amazing. This is the Alexander III Bridge, bridge that was donated by Russia many years ago. The statue are golden, is actual real gold. My favorite bridge in Paris. And I'm shooting it as a leading line to the Grand Palais, which is there. Let's go, let's zoom in a little bit, boom. Look at that, beautiful. I love how the moon is right on top, it's kind of crazy, boom. I'm underexposing the photo because it's too bright, and voila. And okay, so now we're gonna go to my favorite bridge to shoot the Eiffel Tower, the Birkin Bridge. It's a bridge that looks like the Eiffel Tower. It was, you can see it in the movie Inception. So let's go, we have a beautiful night tonight. Let's do it. So now we are on my bridge that I like, but the problem is that there is, is only blue. It's not really nice. So I'm still gonna shoot it. So this one is a crazy shot, but the Samsung, this is a shot that you normally should take with a 600 millimeter. And check it out, I'm gonna do it with the Samsung. And this is a view where we have the, the bridge that's framing the Sacré-Cœur, which is a church which is miles away. So check it out. Wow, look at that, look how clean it is. This is crazy, this is the equivalent of a 600 millimeter with a phone. I mean, and it's, pretty pretty decent i didn't even think that was possible i'm not even going to take it with my leica because uh, you know i'm at uh, on my leica i'm at 28 millimeter so very wide i'm going to wait for the lights to turn on on the bridge and then i'm going to try to get the, a photo of the bridge as a foreground element with the eiffel tower that same photo i took a few months ago i'm about to release a really cool video about finding composition in paris of my exciting adventure so please 
pause this video and take a moment to subscribe to the channel so you're sure not to miss this video. All right, so we actually decided to go a little further to the Statue of Liberty. I don't know if you knew this, but it's a Statue of Liberty in France, and I'm gonna shoot it with the Samsung first. Look at that, with the moon right above it. I'm gonna go very wide, boom. I'm gonna go at one, boom. Plus, they just turned on the lights, which is really cool. Okay, so the lights are on now. I wanna go back, I have one last photo I wanna take, and it's using the bridge that we were earlier as a forward ornament with the lights on. So let's go, we have to go fast, because it's, it's gonna get too dark in a few minutes. Also, if you can take a minute to just leave me a comment to tell me what you would like to learn, I read every single comment. Even if you've never done a comment, I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Okay, so I came back with the lights on, trying to get it at 600 millimeter with an S23, it's crazy. I'm gonna go across, it's actually nicer there. You can hardly see it with your eyes, but you can see it with this camera at 600 millimeters. Look at this, it's crazy. Okay, I got it, the quality is not as great because it's low light and 600 millimeter, but it's decent. I have another idea for photo, we need to get closer to the bridge. Okay, cool, so this might be the last shot or not. I will see on the way home, maybe I'll take some other photo. But look at this, this is really nice. I'm shooting at uh, 5.84, like six time. And boom. And boom, look at that. By the way, guys, I got a really cool book on Lightroom that you can get plus two weeks where I can coach you for free on your photography. The way I do it is I give you one of my best raw file of the month, and on Zoom when we touch it together. You have all the information under this video. All right, let's go back home and maybe get some more cool shots on the way.